Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior 4. Well, last time was a very, very ominous ending as all of the all of the people in Santeen Castle have disappeared and Elena's going to go off and try and find out what happened to them. It's very, very, very bizarre, but we're not going to find out what happens, are we? Because I remember what happened the last time we were in this situation. We ended up controlling a new character. Is the same thing going to happen today? Let's find out. Uh-oh. Lakanaba. Uh, okay. A man named Taloon. That's great. Thanks for telling me that, game. Oh, he gets to be a merchant. Wait, what? So we're controlling a merchant now? Ugh. Oh, but we get a lunge at least. That's nice. Uh, okay. And now we're apparently in charge of an incredibly fat guy. Named Taloon. Yeah, you can just tell he's kind of pudgy. But, uh, okay, let's check this guy out. Uh, good vitality, I guess. Terrible strength. Terrible agility. And all he's wearing is just some clothes. And he's a merchant. That's great. Okay. Well, uh... I guess let's, uh, go ahead and explore a little bit. Uh, one thing, uh, that I will notice is we don't start out this chapter in a castle. The other two games, we started out as royalty, you know? We were a royal soldier, and then we were a princess. Now we're a, a little peasant merchant. But at least we get a medical herb. That'll be nice. Now we could head to the west and go to the shop, but I want to go up here first. And uh, talk to this kid. What's up, kid? Oh, the innkeeper wants to talk to me. Okay, fair enough. Oh, he gets to own his own shop. Yeah, that's Taloon's job, is to open uh, his own shop there. Okay, well, we can't go talk to that dog. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Tom. Uh, sure. No problem. It push you? Uh, okay, now this is absolutely the lowest it can get. Yeah, no, no, get out of the way. Yeah, so push him out of the way. So, yeah. In order to actually get some money, this is this is how ba uh, badly Taloon's hurting for money. Is he's having to push a guy all the way to the House of Healing. So, yeah, that's kind of embarrassing, isn't it? Kind of sad. Okay, so let's uh, go this way, and then I'll push him up, and we'll take him to the House of Healing. Okay, great. Great. Hey, six gold? That's it? You cheap bastard. Oh, I see. And yeah, we got a signpost here. Let's read it. And it's... Oh. <laughs> okay. I will get off the flower bed. Okay, the innkeeper wants to talk to us. So let's see what he has to say. Of the iron safe. No, tell me about that. Oh, okay. Ooh, that'll be nice. Yes, I have. Okay, so that's going to be our first objective. At least the game spells out what we need to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we know where we're from. Oh, we got an armor shop. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got some good stuff here. We're going to want to purchase some of this stuff uh, before we leave. Especially the bronze armor. That's going to be really helpful. Uh, anything else? Might buy a shield. Might buy a hat. They're pretty cheap, so we'll see. Uh, I also am going to need to get a weapon. Well, I only need to get a weapon to kind of sort of defend myself. Because there's a good weapon in the cave coming up where that iron safe is. Oh, okay. I'll have to come back during the evening. Okay. Well, that's all we can do with the townspeople here. So let's go to the shop and um, see what, it, uh, what, that all, uh, what that is all about. Come to the shop. Quickly. It's an emergency. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, so now we get to run the shop. Very good. Oh, and there's a customer. Yeah, yes, this is. Sure, no problem. Okay, so he wants to buy a copper sword. Sounds good. Okay, that's it. And that's really all there is to it. Now, what we want to do here is there's a, spe there's a specific way you want to do this for as long as it takes for them to sell us, a, for someone to sell you a specific weapon. Because not only do you sell them weapons, uh, but just like regular weapon stores, people can sell off their things to you. Okay, and nobody else. Okay, and Thormuth, yeah. Oh, man. And you want to hope that they buy the most expensive things, the thorn web and stuff like that. It is weapon shop. Uh, okay, sure. Great. So, yeah, we just want to keep selling them things. Now, there's a particular weapon that they want to, that they, that I want to purchase from them. 
Hopefully, if they'll ever sell them. But hey, you know what? If you keep selling them stuff, that just means you uh, get more money. Oh man! And see, sometimes, you know, um... Okay, this person just had to uh, discard some stuff, and... You just came here! <sighs> so yeah, just like before, um... You know, sometimes people have too many things, you know? Sure. Alright, no problem. Yep. Very good. Okay, and we're just gonna rinse, lather, and repeat. Okay, come on. I really would like for you guys to sell me some things. Sure I can. Yeah, no problem. Okay, very, 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 very good. Uh, let's see, yes. Ah, here we go. Oh, the phone up. Oh, shoot, that's not what I was looking for. But, uh, one other thing that's good about this is, um, if they sell you weapons, it doesn't take away from your commission. So that's cool. Yes. No, that's not what I want you to sell me. Um, well, I'll just tell you. The, the, uh, sword that we're looking for is the Sword of Malice. Uh, someone can actually sell this. And, uh, as soon as they sell a Sword of Malice, um, don't let anybody else buy it. Even though the commission will be great. Yes. Oh, it's a boomerang. Yeah, okay, sure. Now, uh, uh the reason is because not only can you, uh, let's see, throw them up, sure. Um, not only can you, uh, will you be selling weapons, but you can also purchase weapons. So, and this is kind of, and it's weird how this works. Uh, let's see, do we need the boomerang? No, we can sell that, that's fine. And we'll get good commission off that. Um, but yeah, uh, the way that it works is, let's see, um, you know, even if you, if they sell one to you, um, and you try to sell it back, there's only one in stock. However, when you try to buy it, for some reason, it's there permanently, and you can buy as many of them as you want. Um, and I'll go over that more a little bit later. So, again, uh, see, and you'll notice that the boomerang is gone. Uh, let's see. Sure. Um, you have unlimited, in this you have unlimited clubs, uh, uh, clubs, thorn whips, and copper swords, but only one of the new weapons that come in. So, um, so see, see how the boomerang's gone? So there's only one of those. However, if I wanted to go around and purchase the boomerang, um, there would be infinite of them. So that's kind of weird. Yes. Okay. Oh, come on. And, uh, yeah, that's really all there is to it. Sorry if this episode's not very exciting. Um, okay, uh, come on. we got to be wrapping this up pretty quickly. I think you ran into about 15 or 20 customers per day. Yes. Ooh, the chain sickle. That's a good one. Yes. And we definitely want someone to buy that. Um, not the Sword of Malice, but... Uh, sure. Yeah, again, feel free to buy as many of them as they want. Um, because, again, it doesn't affect your commission. Yes. Oh, the boomerang. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. For sure. And hopefully someone will come and purchase those, because we get good commission for that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see, look at the uh, the list of weapons is growing, so that's good. Uh, now, again, we just uh, want someone to sell me a Sword of Malice. Uh, yes, we'll definitely sell that for sure. And it should be off my inventory roster, because, again, I don't care about the boomerang. Yes. No, you know what? No. I don't want it. <laughs> again, it doesn't affect your commission, so... That's fine. And we have infinite thorn whips, so I'm just trying to mess it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, always say yes when they want to buy things because you get more money. Okay, this is starting to get boring. Yes. Uh, sure. Okay, turbo mode. Yes. Uh, sure. Alright. Turbo mode. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, the Sword of Malice is pretty rare. I'm not sure um, how often it happens. In my test run, I was able to get it. Uh, but... Okay, there we go, and we're done. Sure, no problem. And we... 101 gold pieces, that's it? What the crap? I did a lot for you, and they only paid me 100 gold? Ugh. Well, this person up here said the husband was... Uh, Working at night, so... Or, it was only here at night, so... Yes, I do want to own a shop. Ooh, Endor! That's cool. But I thought Endor was the town in the last game. Could it possibly be around here, too? 
You'll have to wait till next time to find... No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> but, uh... We'll find out later on in the LP if Tulu never reaches Endor. I do. Oh, okay. Alright, fair enough. I'll have to do that then. Uh, go ahead and earn. You know what? Oh, shoot. There's one thing I forgot to do. Um, one other thing you also want to do is each day... And I forgot to do this. Yeah. You want to sell your lunch. Because, uh, well, Tulu doesn't need to eat. He's pretty fat as it is. Um... And, you know, he doesn't need anything. And you can get a little bit more, uh... <laughs> that's a good point. You can get a little bit more money. Which is always a good thing. Aww. Aw, that's so sad. And then, uh, anyways... Well, anyways, we'll go home, and, uh... Yeah, I think you get seven gold for the lunch, so... Okay. And that's the beginning of the quest for Taloon the Arms Merchant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go through this process a few more times off-screen and get a little bit of money... Purchase some uh, armor, and uh, definitely not, I'm going to keep doing this until a Sword of Malice becomes available in the shop. And I'll probably show you that off screen, um, or I'll, I'll uh, edit it until I can show that to you, so uh, you'll see what that looks like. And again, once you get a Sword of Malice in your shop, don't let anyone buy it, because we're actually going to purchase one of those for ourselves. But um, how much money can we get with Taloon the Arms Merchant? How is his fighting ability? What's the deal with this guy? You're going to have to wait till next time to find out. Until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.